Hi folks and um, welcome to another install upgrade video for the Mustang. Um, yeah, next job really. Uh, something that I fancied doing um, since I bought the car. Um, as most people know with the premium pack Mustang you get the um, six, pot, six pot calipers, the Brembo's on the front which um, I've got to say are absolutely excellent to be honest. I've, I don't think I've had a car with brakes that are as good as these. Um, but I just thought it was a shame that um, Ford provided really nice calipers and just normal cast iron heavyweight discs or rotors. So I thought I'd just upgrade the rotors. There's no point in upgrading the calipers, certainly not for me anyway. Might do the back in the future, but the front ones certainly they'll stay Brembo's and um, I'll just you know use the originals because they're so good. But anyway, onto the rotors. So I decided to buy. Uh, Willwood two-piece rotors uh, which need assembling um, they come in two pieces you get the bell or the hat as they call it which is that black aluminium part there and then you get the the rotor itself um, which is the, the metal part with the with the grooves in it so they have to be assembled correctly these are your brakes after all um, you don't want actually a way of doing that as well and Willwood um, helpfully do show you how to do it on there's some instruction leaflets that come and they show you the correct way of doing it i've done a little bit of lock wiring before on racing motorbikes but um you know the, this is a little bit different from what i've done in the past so it took a little bit of practice <laughs> to get it right um but well once once you've got the knack um they, they come along quite easily really so what i thought i would do is just show you how to assemble um a rotor uh, a Willwood rotor two piece. I've already done three of them, um, so I'm pretty good at it by now. Uh, those are the two rear ones, and they're lock wired as well, as you can see there. Yep, you see all the lock wiring going around. Um, and I've done one front one, and I'm about to do the the second front one. Now the thing with the front ones is also they are handed. Um, so this one is for me is the right hand is the driver's side one and this is the passenger one that I'm going to do so I'm going to set up the video um, so that you can see what I'm doing and hopefully you can get the detail of, of how this actually works and the correct way to um, to to lock wire the bolts together okay I shall be back shortly okay well I hope you can see what I'm up to here and it's clear enough um, basically what I've done is I've set the rotor up on top of the hat um, and I've marked off all the uh, bolt numbers because you've got to do them in the right order obviously so um, basically you're just crossing so one two three four five six like that so on um, and then I've already prepared my wire which for this for these particular bolts with the distance apart about eight or nine inches is um, is adequate um, so I've cut them ready and now I've just got to put the bolts in, torque them down and then we'll do the first couple of lock wires and you can see how they go. So firstly the bolts with a little bit of um, say Loctite on them and uh, get the torque wrench out. Uh, just start them off by hand. And then what I do, I just use the gun just to wind them down to the bottom. I don't don't use it to tighten them up.
so I have to torque them in the order. And this torque wrench is um, the torque setting for these is 155 inch pounds, not foot pounds. Um, this torque wrench doesn't have that caliber on uh, cal calibration on it, but it's equivalent to 17 newton meters, uh, which is what it's set at. So. Okay, onto the lock wiring. Um, I'm going to try and zoom in so you can get a good idea of what I'm actually doing here. So um, we'll start off at the top there with number one. Number one. Um, so hopefully you can see what's going on here. Uh, basically, I've got my piece of wire, which is, as I say, nine, eight, nine inches long. You have to find one of the holes in the bolt, which there, look, that goes through. Then fold it round and get yourself pretty much even. Like that. Then, so we're going to be loctiting into this bolt here. So, this piece of wire goes around the back of that bolt. I don't know if you saw that. Let's see if I can show it again. Around the back of there like that. And then as I say keep them you know pretty much even. Then what we need is that our Loctite pliers. So because we're only Loctiting lock wiring sorry up to the next bolt when you get your pliers you want to make it so that it's level with that bolt or just past it actually just it takes a little bit of practice to get it right because obviously as you're twisting the wire it's getting shorter but somewhere around there somewhere somewhere next to that bolt it doesn't matter if you go a little bit past or a little bit short it doesn't really matter as long as you're somewhere close so grip your wire and then I'm actually doing um, six turns so one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's it. So that's the first part done. So you can release. So this this wire now has to go through one one tang of it, one side of it has to go through this bolt. So you, again you've got to find the hole and forgive me if I use a magnifying glass they are absolutely tiny now there's one at the side and there's one at the back so I'll use the one at the side and we're through like that just need a pull, pair of pliers just to give it a tug through this wire is sharp by the way it will cut you And then this piece, again, goes around the back of the bolt, like that. So once it's there, um, uh, it will. this is a bit awkward now because I need to keep it in shot, obviously, but be able to do what I want to do. Okay, so that I think you can see there. So again, now we've got two pieces of wire left over here. So again, grab it with the lock tight with the lock wires squeeze it up so that it's gripped and again six or six or seven turns it doesn't matter but what is important there's a piece here piece of wire here that that doesn't go over the bolt so you need you might need to just hold it down with your fingers while you're doing this piece and there's about five turns six turns on there then you can release again then tuck this underneath and bend it around the bolt 
bend it around the bolt such like that and then just cut the tang off what's left over you can see how much how much I've got left uh, where are we there that's that's all I'm cutting off so um, so and that should be just a little bit taut not not really really tight but just a little bit like a guitar string really um, and that's the first one done so I'll do one more and hopefully you'll get the idea of, of what I'm doing just getting the camera so that you can see what I'm doing that's the, the important thing uh, we'll do this we'll do this next one this one here that one there okay so again, piece of wire, find the bolt hole with my eyesight, not very easy. I really do need a magnifying glass to see them sometimes. So we threw the through the wire like that. Get the two pieces pretty much even like that. And then this one around the back of the bolt. say grab it next to the bolt that you're going to be lock wiring to just grab it somewhere near there grip it and as I said seven turns one six or seven anyway two three four five six is plenty As I say, that bit of wire there needs to be down behind the bolt. It's uh, quite springy, this wire. Like that. Then... Put this piece through one of the holes on the next bolt which I can't find again Pull through. Around the outside with that piece. And I haven't left myself much over that time for lock wiring, but I can I should have enough there to just be able to push that and do it. release and then tuck it underneath the other piece wrap it round and snip off the excess and that's it so that's it that's how to lock wire and you can see it's tensioned up even though that looked a bit slack before it has tensioned up now so um, that's the way to lock wire a Willwood disc.
and I've got another four to go. <laughs> okay, so I hope that helps any of you out who are thinking of upgrading your um, brake rotors on your Mustang. Cheers guys.